There's an end to a 20-year mystery. An infant who disappeared with her mother from South Carolina now found the girl's father never giving up hope of finding her. It's a search that ended on the other side of the world, literally. ABC's Ty Hernandez is here with that story. Hey, Ty. Hi, Bianca. Baby Savannah, as she was known, was less than a year old when she disappeared. She had been on a court-supervised visit with her mother, who no longer had custody. The mother somehow got permission to take her daughter to a birthday party, and the two never returned. It's been 20 years since Savannah Todd was last seen in Isle of Palms, South Carolina, thought to never be seen again. But earlier this month, she surfaced in Queensland, Australia, alive and living a seemingly normal life, only now with Samantha Geldenheis, living with her mother, Dorothy Barnett, the alleged kidnapper. The father-husband um, came to the police department to report that his child had been uh, abducted or kidnapped. In 1994, Savannah Todd was stuck in the middle of her parents' bitter divorce. A judge granted Benjamin Todd, the father, full custody. That's when investigators say Barnett took her daughter and vanished, leaving Savannah's father fearing for the worst. He was worried once that child got out of the country, he'd never see her again. According to court documents, this was not Barnett's first attempt to kidnap baby Savannah. Barnett has been arrested by Australian federal police and now faces extradition back to the United States. If convicted, she will serve up to 23 years in prison for international parental kidnapping and two counts of falsified passport application. It took cooperation from U.S. federal and Australian law enforcement to track down and nab Barnett, who was living under a different name. She has been denied bail in Australia pending her return to the U.S.